and we are back with another video this one's different we're doing this a little different and this is gonna be controversial i already know i already know how this stuff works man we get started though make sure you like comment share if you're new if this is your first time watching a video from this channel hit the sub button join the team our ultimate goal is 100k we're at five right now the next the next step we're gonna hit is 10 then 15 we're gonna go by five till we hit 100k man but look top five receivers in the nfl man there's so many to go off of that's why i know this is gonna be controversial i know there's gonna be a lot of people a lot of y'all disagreeing with me so if you disagree put your five put your top five receivers in the comments and i want in order because we only doing in order here we want to be i want it to be i want y'all to put giving me y'all's input on this man so look all right let's get to it so these are my honorable mentions right here stefan diggs aj brown debo and jamar chase and now i already know Stephon Diggs had a bad game against the Chiefs, so y'all might be like, okay, I understand that. A.J. Brown was balling. Debo's been going crazy. And Jamar Chase, I bet you a lot of y'all, Jamar Chase is on your top five, and I understand it. Jamar Chase is nasty. It's <laughs> been cold, and he's only a rookie, man. But for the simple fact, see, he's a rookie. So I guess that's that might be why he didn't make my list, even though he's balling. Maybe it's because he didn't have enough time. I don't know. But I guess if you put him in the list, I understand. Jamar Chase is that dude, man. We'll be, here we go. Let's start out. Number five. Justin Jefferson, man. This man, Justin Jefferson, to me, is number five on my list. He, this is a second year, right? He, he, this past season, he was fourth in receptions, second in the league in yards. He was tied six in touchdowns with 10, and he averaged 15 yards. He was 14th in the league at that, man. This man right here, Justin Jefferson, is cold, and he's only getting better, man. So, like, he's at least had, see, with Justin Jefferson, he's had two years, and he broke Randy Moss, I want to say rookie record. Well, I think Jamar Chase might have broke his. Y'all comment below if Jamar Chase broke Justin Jefferson because Jamar Chase Jamar Chase this year has been crazy. So I'm pretty sure Jamar Chase broke this record. But he broke Randy Moss's, like, he broke another Randy Moss record. It was like two most yards in two seasons or whatever. He broke that, man. Justin Jefferson is nice, man. So he's number five on my list. We'll go down to number four. Cheetah, man. Cheetah Tyreek Hill. The reason I got him, uh, the reason I got him fourth instead, like, he's over Justin Jefferson, in my opinion. So, he's averaging, he's third in receptions with 111, seventh in yards with tw about 1,200, ninth and er, he tied for ninth with nine touchdowns. He averages 11. Tyreek Hill has been See, and they had a down year this year in scoring, in terms of scoring, and he's still putting up stats. But you got to think, he's playing with Travis Kelsey. So his stats are going to get cut pretty much in half. He's playing with these receivers. Like, Justin Jefferson, he's clearly the number one option on his team. But look, Tyreek Hill, he could – people could argue Tyreek Hill is the second option on this Chiefs, Chiefs offense. And that Travis Kelsey is one. So he putting up the number at this two option, man. That's crazy to me. Moving on to number three. D Hop, man. This, look, I was debating is D Hop number two. Cause number one, number two, it was it was a toss-up, man, because it's tough. And this is why I came I came to this conclusion, man. Got him number three. And his stats aren't as good as... Here, let me move this. His stats aren't as good because you got to think, though, this man... I right, look. You got to think this man, D-Hop, was hurt this year. He was hurt this year, so his stats ain't going to be... 
as high as these other people are. He missed, I forgot how many games. But this man here, D Hop, is dip. He went a whole season without, if a ball hit his hands, he caught it. That's probably, that's one of the craziest stats I've ever heard. He caught everything that was thrown his way. If it touched his hand, he caught it. It didn't matter what it was, he caught it. He didn't drop one pass for a year, man. That's insane. Number three on our list, man. Now here, look. These next ones is gonna be controversial. I already know. Again, let me put this back up. Put your top five in the comments, man. We going on to number two. Coop, man. I know what y'all are thinking. How is Coop? Triple crown winner, man. Led the league in every single stat, man. How is he not number one? And if, you, if y'all seeing this, y'all know who my number one is. But look, 145 receptions from for about 2,000 yards, 16 touchdowns, averaging 13. This man, Cooper Cup, and look, will make it even more controversial is I made this list right before the um before the Rams played Tampa Bay. This was right before. This was I think this was before yeah, this was before this divisional round that everybody just played where I made this list. And after he did that, I had to I was debating whether or not to switch it. I was fighting man, I was fighting man. This man Cooper Cup is different man y'all seen in the um against tampa bay he he throw thrown twice to him got him in field goal range pretty much he he was the main reason why they won that game i can't even lie to you you know matthew stafford is good man matthew stafford is nice this man cooper cup is absolutely different man so he's number two on my list and number one you already know Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams is a dog, man. This friend Devontae Adams is different. He was second in reception with 123, third in yards with 1,500, fifth in touchdowns with 11, and he averaged about 13. He was 50 is bad. Devontae Adams is different. Like, Devontae Adams, he does all the stuff he can catch and all that. The way this man can get open is unreal. Like, like I seen one, they were showing every, all these receivers route running. There's a route by this man, like losing people bad. Like they looking around where this man at, he's already in the end zone with a touchdown, man. As a matter of fact, they were doing, showing the routes, man. And one, one DB was like, one cornerback was like, he shook me so bad, I thought it was a false start. <laughs> I'm like, ah. he said he shook me so bad. He thought it was, he thought it was illegal how bad this man got shook, man. D-Hop, or D-Hop, Devontae Adams is different. Devontae Adams, it helps. Look, okay, so with these two, you all right with Cooper Cup and Devontae Adams. Cooper Cup has a great um, QB of Matt Stafford. Devontae Adams has one of the best, two or three best in the league. He, number one, I'd say Aaron Rodgers is top three. He has to be top three. The way Pat Mahomes and Josh Allen and all them played in the playoffs, though, he might have dropped from one to maybe like three. Because they was, I ain't never seen no, that was the best game I've ever seen in my life, man. But yeah, I got Devontae Adams, number one. This will probably change by next year because I don't think Aaron Rodgers is coming back. So y'all, again, look, comment y'all's list. I want the top five list, man, down in the comments. And if you disagree, with one of my um receivers put a receiver you will put in there put the list and tell me why you have the list that way like explain to me why you would do the list that way man but that's it for the video again if you're new hit the subscribe button join the team let's get this to 10k and then we're gonna push it all the way to 100k man but with that being said i'm out